I found the biggest cheat code in mid journey and it's all thanks to someone in the community. Let me rewind a little for you. I suck at image prompting. I had no idea how to use it. I never understood why someone would use image prompting over regular prompting. And that was until last Wednesday. During the office hours that Midjourney holds every week, someone was asking a question and they said that they had a cheat code. Well, of course, everybody wanted to know what it was and they shared it. So a big thank you to Capsa, Capsi, I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. I just wanna say thank you so much. I'm sorry if you didn't want people looking through your gallery. I just really wanna share this information with everyone. And I wanted to let you know that you made image prompting click in my mind. So I'll be forever grateful. So take a look at some of these images here. He was bragging about how one image prompt could get you all of these beautiful images by adding any words you like. If you click on a picture, you can see the parent, but also the images used. As soon as I saw this picture, it clicked and I knew I could do image prompt. And I don't know how you'd describe this other than abstract, so that's what I went with. So I tried abstract poster in muted colors. I thought these turned out pretty well. Here we have just abstract poster. Again, pretty cool. I tried abstract design. Here's abstract movie poster abstract graphic, abstract design in muted colors, you get the idea. This one I thought was pretty cool. Here's abstract infographic in muted colors. I could really see the potential in these images. So then you have to go about upscaling them. I chose some of my favorites and then I got to prompting. It's really easy. All you have to do is right click on an image, hit copy image address, Paste that into your imagine prompt followed by any words you like. So I took this image and I added the Joker. This is what it'll look like after you generate. Here's the images. Do a quick back and forth. We took this, we added Joker, and we get these. Off to a great start. Capsa unlocked my ability to image prompt and I will be forever grateful. I stuck with the Joker to see how it turns out over a bunch of different images. Here's a movie poster and here's the Joker. Look how good it works. Took that guy and then added white makeup, gave him some scars, boom, and boom. We go from this to these. Just incredible. The biggest cheat code by far. I don't know how you would get these images without using image prompting. I'm sure you could say something like an abstract poster of the Joker, like maybe. But using image prompting with the source of an abstract design, you just get these knockout images every time. Bada bing, bada boom. Look how sick these are, man. Like number two is wild love number one, love number three, like eh. I would love number four as well, but the others are just clearly better. Bam, boom, boom, bam. Cheat code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, start. Something like that, you know? Swirly, 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 boom. A little bit of this gets you a little bit of that. Freaking incredible, man. Look at number four. Just swirling through the leaf. Oh God, they're all beautiful. Best cheat code ever. Is it cheat? If it becomes easier to make good images, does that lessen the power of the images? Do people really care where you get your images from? Or are they just interested in the final result? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this tech good for humanity? I don't know. What's this gonna make? Uh, let me spoil it. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, look, uh, how does it do that? How does it add just the right amount of what you're asking for with the perfect amount of the original abstract design? How does it do that? Number one's awesome, but I think number two is stunning with these like crystal pieces coming out of the side of his head. And then number four has got these like dust particles or paint splatters. I don't know what you call, oh, just, what can you say? We go from this to these pretty, oh man, look how, uh, I try not to be redundant in these videos, but I know it's just impossible. I'm showing you the greatest thing ever and I can't get enough of it. I have a couple more. I'm sorry if these are getting boring to you, they'll never be boring to me. Here we go, abstract design turned into the Joker. Here's a fun one. Here's the infographic I like. Pure gibberish, but it looks like an infographic. So what's it gonna do? It freaking adds little infographics to the Joker. Like if you wanna talk about the utility of AI, it is right here. This is the best inspiration I've ever seen for concept art in terms of what you could accomplish. Imagine actually filling in the details around these pictures with like, you know, maybe info about the Joker or info about any subject. Granted, you change the Joker to whatever you're talking about. It would just, ah, uh, endless, unique, graphics at your fingertips in 30 seconds or less. AI is the best. So I just wanted to show you what the two by three looks like. This is abstract movie poster. And then here 
here it is with the Joker. Quick back and forth. Look how good those are. Number three is like missing an eye, but it's right down the center. The colors, ah, ow. How is it so good? And now we come to my favorite image prompt of the day. This is just a regular abstract design. You're gonna see I added the Joker, but I added some other words as well. Wait till you get a look at these. So we go from this to these. As soon as I saw these, I was like, I gotta use that same image prompt and I gotta just roll through a bunch of words. We gotta see where this takes me. Freaking love number four, freaking love number three, man. So sick. So again, we got this image and we're going to the monolith of fury. I can't really believe that this turns into this but like it keeps the colors and it keeps the abstractness and like yo check out the reflections at number three this is the one i upscaled because it's the best like look at oof. just look okay look feast your eyes on the biggest cheat code in mid journey history for now boom bam multicolored rage i love the faces extruding from the abstract background i just want to point out this color blue whatever this is uh, it's the prettiest blue i've ever seen in my life batman i like number four because it doesn't really look like batman but the rest of them how does it get so much right and cut it off at the perfect spots? Like it's got this dripping color, but the perfect torso, perfect torso, perfect torso. Sorry if you guys get sick of me praising the AI. I just really wanted to point out how powerful it is to make your own abstract designs, image prompt those abstract designs with anything you choose and you'll get the best stuff ever. Here's just the word synth wave. One of my favorite styles. Look at the colors it adds. Peep these reflections. It's almost like one to one it's it's basically perfect like ah it's so good sticking with that though i went with synth wave car freaking love these look at the depth of the car in front of the background yeah just so inspiring we go from this we're gonna add chibi eagle and we're gonna get these cute little guys look he's carrying them on his back here here he's perched with a little hat so awesome I like these a lot. Tidal wave. Not exactly what I had in mind. I mean, I like number three, but then I added in a little more here. So we got tidal wave hitting a city pixel art style. Boom. Just exactly what I was hoping for. I think these are so beautiful. Really like number four. Really like number two. I like all of them. Thought this was pretty interesting. Here's Instagram model. Like they're kind of creepy, but in number three, it's got this split down the middle between the abstract design on the left and then a person on the right like how does it know how to do that people want to say ai is not creative that's creative that is brilliant you're not just asking for something you're telling the ai to take inspiration from an image and to create something specific with it uh another subject that you've chosen how is this not creative how is this not a sign of humanity i don't know what i'm trying to say other than use this cheat code i thought this one was a lot of fun here's pure happiness look at the dog and the little kid exploding from the background like these are just pure happiness indeed i'll go through some of the upscales because they really make the pictures beautiful okay don't look that closely at the details stick to the heads you got something good here i really like this picture a lot that her eye is in the abstract design still here are the tidal waves hitting the city so cool look at the right angles the pixel art here's another one like that's just unreal here's harry potter i mean it's kind of got a lightning scar but it's the glasses that really works. Maybe that's supposed to be Hedwig. I don't know. Here's the chibi eagle with the helmet. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. But peep these synth wave cars. Go good at it. And the reflections though. Top notch. Nasty. Super nasty. The monolith. Look at the reflections. Anyways, what can I say about this stuff? So there you have it. The biggest cheat code I've ever seen. Huge thanks to Caspa for letting me and the community know about this. I'm so happy to share it with you guys. It, it fires me up. I hope you're all doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.